Hey there, electricity enthusiasts. Welcome back to Electricity Frenzy. Today, we're diving into a topic that's essential for every homeowner and DIY enthusiast. Can circuit breakers go bad? I'm your host and experienced electrical engineer, and we're about to break it down for you. So, picture this, you're in your cozy home, and everything's humming along smoothly until suddenly, the lights flicker, and the TV goes dark. What happened? Could your circuit breaker be the culprit? Circuit breakers are like the guardians of your electrical system. They're designed to protect your home by cutting off power when there's too much current flowing through a circuit. But here's the twist, just like any superhero, even circuit breakers can experience a bad day. How can you tell if your circuit breaker is acting up? Well, keep an eye out for these red flags. 1. Frequent tripping. If your breaker keeps tripping, it might be overworked or faulty. 2. Visual clues. Check for scorch marks, discoloration, or that mysterious burnt smell around your breaker panel. 3. Testing the breaker. Try resetting a tripped breaker. If it won't reset or keeps tripping, it's waving a red flag. Now, let's talk about what can make a circuit breaker go from hero to zero. 1. Aging and wear. Like us, circuit breakers age. Over time, mechanical components can wear out. 2. Overloading. Piling on too many devices can overwhelm a breaker. 3. Short circuits. If a short circuit happens, the surge of power can harm your breakers and sides. 4. Corrosion and moisture. Exposure to moisture can lead to corrosion of contacts and terminals. But here's the deal. When in doubt, call in the pros. Loose connections, for instance, might be the villain behind breaker issues. And trust me, it's better to have an expert tackle these baddies. You should definitely consider calling a professional if you're not an electrical wizard. Safety's a top priority which it should be. The diagnosis is a puzzle you can't solve. Your home's rocking vintage electrical gear. So, if you suspect a breaker's gone rogue, here's what you can do. 1. Safety first, cut the power before you even think about touching anything. 2. Check compatibility, get a replacement breaker that matches specs. 3. Call an electrician, but seriously, if you're not sure, a pro is your best bet. Hold on, there's more to know. If your breaker's tripping even with no devices connected, that's a potential sign of a bad breaker. And here's a tip, if it trips, don't rush to reset it. Give it a few minutes to cool down, breakers need their time out too. With these bonus tips in your toolkit, you're ready to tackle breaker mysteries like a true electricity aficionado. Remember, safety and patience are your best allies. Thanks for joining us on this electrifying journey. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay charged with more awesome content from Electricity Frenzy. Until next time, keep those circuits buzzing. Enjoyed these extra nuggets of knowledge? Like and subscribe to Electricity Frenzy for more illuminating content. Stay charged, my friends.